Hey, this is Barry for Aquarium Outfitters and Fish Store and welcome to Species Spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about the Red Belly Paku. The Red Belly Paku is from the Rio Orinoco and Amazon basins in Colombia, Venezuela, Peru, Bolivia, and Brazil. The Red Belly Paku is a cool fish related closely to the silver dollar and piranha. A shoaling fish while young, they normally become more solitary as they mature. Though not known to be voracious meat eaters, they might eat the small fish in your tank. They usually get along fine with larger peaceful tank mates. They might be slight fin nippers if kept in a tank that's too small. Speaking of a tank being too small, that's the biggest issue with these guys. They have the potential to grow to be over 24 inches as an adult, and most normal aquarists aren't equipped to handle a fish that size. So it's pretty likely these fish might eat all the plants in your tank, just be prepared. But they do like to have places to hide, so it would be nice to at least have some tank decor like driftwood or rocks, provided they still have plenty of room to swim around. 75 to 80 degrees is a good temperature for these fish. Keep the pH from 6.5 to 7.5. Often referred to as a vegetarian piranha, the red belly paku is considered primarily an herbivore. They normally accept pellets and flakes. You can also give them small pieces of vegetables, fruits, nuts, and seeds. Sometimes owners feed mature pakus live feeder fish or insects as well, but live food isn't required. The recommended minimum tank size for the mature paku is 300 gallons, but honestly larger would be better. I've heard of people keeping these in a heated pond, which would probably be more ideal. The red belly paku is an awesome fish, but he's going to get huge. This guy is probably best left to the advanced aquarist or public aquarium that has a tank big enough to give this fish a good home. So have you had any experience with paku? What are your thoughts? Comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. The red belly paku is said to have a lifespan of 15 years or longer in the right conditions. 